Mm. You know, damn Mecha Koopa, if I would have dodged that attack, I would show him. You know what, one of these days, he's gonna come back, and he's gonna rub it in my face. He's gonna go tell everybody and say, oh, you see Koopa over there? Yeah, you see him? He's just mopping. He's just damn mopping. I don't like him. He, he's a dummy. And then, what if they really do say that? You know what, you know what? Damn you, Mecha Koopa! Damn you to hell! Koopa! Koopa! What, Goomba? What is it now? Can't you see I'm mopping like Mary Poppins? Well, first off, Mary Poppins didn't have a mop. She had an umbrella. And second off, wow, Koopa, thank God you're alive. And well, too. I thought you almost died. Sure, you had a few bruises here and there, but you're still alive, right? Yeah, I'm lucky, am I? Well, to make it up to you, maybe we can have a good health party. Yeah, a good health party. Just the two of us. Or maybe you can invite people, whatever you want. So, what do you say? What do I say? Well, it's not worth it if I'm not in the Bowser Squad anymore. <sighs> yeah, I know how you feel. But, is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Well, Goomba, I don't know either. How about a little bit more insults? Oh, what now? Mecha Koopa, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. I'm just here, caring for my new master. He's so much better than my old master. Dr. Drybones created you. Well, where is he anyway? Oh, I have no idea. Maybe just somewhere in this castle, shaming himself for all eternity. Ah, well, I don't really care anymore. Oh, hey Goomba, how are you doing? Uh, not too bad, Petey. But wait, how are you in that chair? Oh, nothing much. Well, the reason why? Well, even though Mecha Koopa is this mechanical monster that almost killed Koopa, He's actually a pretty nice guy. Pretty nice guy, huh? Yeah, I doubt it. Well, you see that, Koomba? Mecha Koopa was really fun. Well, don't you remember that he almost killed Koopa last week? Yeah, he almost killed him, and he's now starting to be really nice to us. <sighs> well, even though Mecha Koopa is being quite nice to you guys, but he's not as fun as my best friend. Right, Koopa? <sighs> Come on, Goomba. Give up. They're not going to believe you anyway. <sighs> oh, well. Then, Master PD, may I fancy you a foot rub? A foot rub? Oh, that would be really nice. Foot rubs? Uh-oh. Mech Koopa, I don't think you should have said that. Why not? What is he going to do? Blow up all over himself? Foot. Rubs. Foot. Rubs. Oh. oh, I quit. Wow, I'm surprised you didn't even explode. Yeah, I know. Hey, who are you calling explode? Uh, uh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Yeah, ba bomb. He really did it. Oh, hey, don't rub it in, cheater. Well, don't make any bad puns again. Or I'll blow your face up. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. You don't need to blow me up. Come on, don't believe him. He's not at all better than you. Well, I quit. Huh? Why do you quit? There's no point anymore. Oh, well, with Mecha Koopa around and me being a janitor, there's no point in living on in Bowser Castle. Not like this. And if you don't need me anymore, I'm going to pack my bags and leave Bowser Castle forever. What? No, Koopa, you can't leave. I have to. I'm being disrespected left and right. And from now on, I'm just going to go and live on by myself, alone in solitude. By myself. Forever. Alone, lonely, loner. 
That's a lot of aloneness. Precisely. Koopa, wait! Bah! Forget about that weakling. He is no use to us anymore. Bowser Castle does not deserve such weakness. And besides, he is heading up to the snowy mountains as we speak. He will not survive up there. He will die forever alone as a Koopsicle. I hate you. Ha ha ha. I don't care. With that weakling now gone, I'm your Koopa now. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> so cool. <gasps> A snowman. Mr. Snowman. Uh, yeah, what is it? Uh, do you know where to go? And, uh, do you have anything that can help me? Uh, well, I'm sorry, kiddo. I'm just a snowman. I don't have any food, clothes, or anything like that. I wasn't born either. I was just built. And it's been 20 years now, ever since those little kids came up and built me. And I've been sitting here ever since. And it's all the life of a snowman. And the only way I could ever move is if something blows me over. Unless those kids built me with <gasps> legs! Yay! Well, so long, sir. I've got a life to live. Yippee! Oh, at least he has a life. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Oh. This is the end. Here come the snow vultures to pick my bones. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of Koopa. Goodbye, cool world. Ooh. Oh. Wait a second. I'm in a bed. Warm blankets, too. How did I get here? Well, it's simple, really. I found you. Who said that? You turn around. Okay. Oh, hi. Now, uh, how did I get- <gasps> Oh! Well then, are you feeling comfortable? Or do I need to add more blankets? Up here! Don't come any closer. Uh, I, I'm, not, I'm just a harmless Koopa. Nothing more. Calm yourself, child. I am no enemy. But, 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 you... Aren't you a bear minion? <sighs> well, if I wanted you dead, I would have left you in that barren wasteland. So, um, you're not gonna hurt me? No. It sure doesn't look like I'm going to hurt you, am I? Uh, no. You look pretty harmless. Hmm. Not as harmless as you think. So, um, why'd you bring me here? And why did you save me? Well, I found you in the snow. All frozen, blue, and turning into literal popsicle. So then I thought, you know, why not? I have an extra bed, blankets, everything. And I decided, you know what? Fine. I'll make a little exception. Oh, okay. That's really nice of you. But, um... What's your name? Who am I? Well, I guess not too many people know. I am Kawasaki. Kawasaki? Well, that's a pretty cool name. It is if you spend your whole life in a regime that doesn't even care about you. Oh, so, um... Why are you here? Well, I'm here because I have a little story of my own. But the question is, why are you out here? Oh, you really want to know, huh? Well, it's really simple. You see, until another friend of mine named Dr. Drybones, he brought up his new invention. But then it was another mecha version of me. So therefore, it wanted to kill me. So therefore, it was a whole match, and then we fought, and then I lost, and then 
I became a janitor, and then, well, I couldn't take it anymore, so then I left. Well, obviously, that was very unwise of you to leave. But then, your story has the very same plot line in terms of mine. You see, the same happened to me, where a long time ago, I used to be your so-called bear minion, and I was part of King Panda's fast and powerful regime. But then, some little rookie came by and replaced me. So then we fought. I unfortunately lost against Little Punk. So then they kicked me out forever. But when I thought I was going to die, I literally came to myself and thought, why not start a new life? So therefore, well, unexpectedly, I devoted myself entirely to the duties of Kung Fu and to learn and single-handedly master the very art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. So then, it took me years, but now I have mastered it. So then, after that, I went back to King Panda's castle and challenged the little punk who replaced me. And then we fought, and this time, this time, I obliterated him. And then, once I won the match, King Panda gave me an offering to rejoin his powerful and vast regime. But, I decided to turn him down, because, well, back then I still had much to learn. And, what's the point of living in a life in a vast, powerful regime that doesn't even care if you die. So that is my story. Whoa, your story has kind of the same thing as- <gasps> Wait a second. Didn't you just say that you were kind of a kung fu master? Yes, of course. I am one of the few who have single-handedly mastered the very art of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Really? Oh, then maybe you can help me. Help you with what? To train and defeat Mecha Koopa. Oh, so you need my help. Well then, I would normally turn you down. But, since I understand your story, I will indeed train you. But, it would normally take years to fully understand the definition of hand-to-hand -hand combat. But, since you have friends, family, and a life of your own, where you came from. I will train you for a week. At least then you will be powerful enough to feature your mechanical adversary. For I can make you very strong, unlock your full potential, and make you even more powerful than you ever dreamed. Well, I don't have a family, but really? You'll train me? Of course. After all, you do want to beat your mechanical adversary and reclaim your honor. So, only one question remains. Do you want to learn Kung Fu and unlock your full potential? Yeah, I do. Then I will train you. Okay. Don't cry. Warriors do not shed tears. Okay. So, um, when do we get started? Well, why not? We'll get started now! Well then, Koopa-san. I have taught you everything you need to know. Even in a week, you have shown great progress. And now, only one question remains. Do you believe you are ready to go back home and confront your mechanical adversary. Yes, I'm ready. Good. Indeed you are ready. I have unlocked your full potential, and now you know how to fight. Correctly. Yeah, you did. Well, I guess I'll be going now. Well then, 
I guess it's time for you to go and reclaim your honor. Yep, it's time to go. Well then, bye Mr. Kawasaki. Thanks for all your help. And maybe, who knows, maybe we'll see each other again someday. Bye. Well, I am not sure if our paths will cross again one day. But, maybe one day we will meet again, Kubasan. Uh, Mr. Kawasaki? Yes, what is it? Um, which way to Bowser Castle? That way. Well then, goodbye, Master Kawasaki. Thanks for all your help. Goodbye, Koopa-san. Go and reclaim your honor! Yippee! Now that I know martial arts, I can go back and fight Mecha Koopa. Well, let's go.